Just a quick update on what's happening here on the uh, homestead. Uh, it's been hot. It's supposed to be triple digits this coming week, which is pretty rare around here. I'm at about 4,500, 4,700 feet. Uh, so usually it tops up in the mid 90s, but it's going to be hot. Uh, we haven't had any rain. The monsoon usually doesn't come for another month. It usually starts around July, so it's been very dry as you can see behind me. Uh, all the plants are drying up and blowing away except for the mesquite. Speaking of mesquite, I've got plenty of mesquite around. And I know what that looks like. It's got those uh, big uh, multiple leaves. But there's this other plant that has much, much smaller leaves. Very delicate, fine leaves. And uh, it's got pretty big thorns. Uh, it's not that big of a plant. It's, um, it's a shrub or a small tree, maybe 15 feet tall at most. I looked it up and I thought it's a, an acacia, a white thorn acacia maybe. But if anybody knows what it really is, uh, let me know in the comments. And uh, I noticed it because my goats love it. Most animals love it. And I tasted the leaves. It tastes pretty good. It tastes like walnuts. So, an interesting plant. I've got plenty of these yucca. I think this is a um, soap tree. They produce these... Um, flowers and when the flowers fully bloom they're very tasty uh, they taste a cross between bell pepper and summer squash i saute them a little bit so very delicious supposedly when they make the pods you can eat the pods too but i found them very untasty a little soapy so i would consider them edible only in an emergency grabbed a flower here i usually wait till they're fully open but this is all i could reach at the time but Very tasty. Um, this has got a little bit of a bitter bite to it because it's not fully open yet. But when they're fully open, it's got a little bite to it like a, like the bitterness of a cucumber. They're very cucumbery tasting, a little bit of a bitter from a bell pepper. But um, they mellow out when you cook them, much like a squash or a cucumber would. And um, they're good. I recommend them. And there's lots of them around everywhere, just on the roadside everywhere. So if it came down to it, I think you could feed yourself pretty well off of them. Uh, they're very seasonal. Uh, the flowers fade away by the end of June. So grab them while you can. And uh, one of my hens is going broody. Uh, she's been sitting on the eggs for a while. I forgot to mark down when she started sitting. It feels like it's been a month, so I don't know if it's going to work. Uh, she went broody once before in the fall, and the eggs didn't hatch. Uh, they just went bad. And I don't know if it'll work this time. Uh, my eggs are fertile, though, because every so often I'll find a embryo or even a little baby chick in there. But maybe there's something wrong with it, or maybe I'm just impatient. And I mentioned a while ago my rabbits uh, had a jailbreak. They all broke free. So they run around wild now. Um, I lost a few of them. Uh, I might have had up to 30 of them when they finally escaped, and uh, there's still a lot around if you count them and round them all up. But uh, maybe there's only half of them. Maybe half of them got ran away, got taken by coyotes, something like that. But I saw some uh, baby rabbits, so maybe I'll have a stable population. Uh, I, of course, give them water. They drink. I give them water for themselves, and uh, they also drink the goat water. And uh, I do feed them too. I have some alfalfa for them. And uh, and they like to steal the goat food too. So, <laughs> And that's what I've been up to. I'm working on a video. It's taking me a little bit longer to edit. So I didn't publish something last week. It's also been very hot. My RV is like a, a little solar oven. One day I'll get AC. But I should just build my house first instead of uh, investing in fixing up the, a broken down RV. But the heat comes fast here. At the end of April, it was still pretty chilly, maybe in the 70s. And now it's well into the 90s with the blazing hot sun. So it's actually been giving me some uh, migraines. I thought it was dehydration at first, but then I recognized it. It was a migraine. So I haven't had one in, oh, 15, 20 years. So 
I didn't recognize it at first. I'm like, why do I feel hungover if I didn't have anything to drink? But sure enough, it's a migraine. And I've also been focusing on trying to build my online business selling my teas, which I'll probably talk about uh, on a different channel. I think that kind of dilutes the uh, off-grid message a little bit. So I've been working on that. I'm making some videos. I haven't published them yet, but I'll probably start a second channel for that. And that's all my uh, male goat. I think he's in rut or in heat. Uh, he's been giving my uh, female goat a real hard time recently. <laughs> a little bit more aggressive but she's very pregnant so not much is going to happen there and that's all just a quick update i'll end this video before the camera overheats in the hot sun and i'll see you in the next one